Hi, my name is Steve Gray, and um, I'm the Vice President and CTO for our US R&D um, for Huawei in uh, North America. R&D is really a reflection of the company as a whole, and so we have four business units that are primarily focused on infrastructure. Um, the first is wireless, which of course sells a lot of our base station products, and we have probably the most comprehensive set of base station products um, in the market today. Um, second is our network product line. Which, provides, um, which is a leading supplier of DSLAM technology, but also a leading supplier of optical. Um, so we do a lot of advanced technology work um, in the United States around optical. Um, the third is our core network product line, which is the mobile core. So the traditional 3G mobile core, GGSN type of products, but also then looking towards the future and future products that are relevant for the uh, mobile core. Um, things related to like our uh, content delivery networks and media. And the fourth business unit is our uh, application and services uh, product line, which focuses on things such as uh, service delivery platforms, IPTV, um, and a lot of the areas which correspond to the intersection of the information technologies and tele telecommunication technologies in the future. Well, the Innovation Center um, was started in earnest around the end of last year. And what we're looking to do is to find those new product areas which are not well serviced by our business units today. So for example, you won't find the Innovation Center working on what's the next step base station product that the wireless product line should be working on. But what we are doing is looking into a lot of uh, cloud-based services. So software as a service, platform as a service. So the kind of skill sets that we look to, that we're building here in North America, are really ones who have an innovative back background, so you'll find a lot of the people we work for have worked as part of innovation activities in AT&T or Cisco or some of the other uh, major players in the industry. Obviously, we are looking to expand our business with uh, North American customers, and so as part of our innovation activities, we'd like to establish some joint innovation center activities with um, key customers, um, not only the tier ones, but also maybe some of the MSOs as well. Um, the second thing is we need to be able to develop kind of the key strategic platforms from a product perspective to uh, transfer um, in a technology transfer sense um, and productize uh, to um, our business units back in China. And we're really also looking to work with the local communities here in the innovation sense. So we're establishing relationships with venture capitalists, with startup companies. So our first big activity in the innovation center is really around how do we work with a number of startup companies to create an enterprise, small, medium business-based platform. Um, today we have more than 500 people with a target to grow by the in the next six months to something close to 700 people. And this is spanning our eight R&D centers. Our largest R&D center is located here in uh, Silicon Valley, but we also have significant R&D centers in places such as Ottawa, Canada, uh, as well as in New Jersey. And um, the kind of workforce that we're looking to increase um, are basically senior people in virtually all of our product areas. We're staffing in wireless. We're also staffing in our network product line. And particularly, we're looking for people who have a strong background in software as well as uh, distributed architectures.